Hi. So where is this climate crisis? Everything looks pretty normal to me. But there are four things that I've learned that when you put them together, make me really worry. Point one is the earth is warming. There's no doubting the meteorologists who check the weather stations around the world. And it's not just the air, the sea's warming, the land's warming, the mountains, the poles. It doesn't seem real quick to us, but science tells us it hasn't been warmer than this at any time since humans have been around. And it hasn't changed this quickly for millions of years. Two, there are more carbon-based gases in our atmosphere now than there's been for many millions of years. Half as much again as we would expect to have. Science tells us that this is very clearly the cause of the warming. We can't see the CO2 and other greenhouse gases in the sky. It's invisible to our eyes. But if we could see with infrared, this is what the concentrations in the atmosphere would look like. On average, each of us Australians puts six tonnes of this stuff into the sky every year. And we dig up and export three times as much. Three. The warming won't stop anytime soon. We know from ocean sediment records that the last time Earth had this much carbon dioxide in the sky, temperatures were far more than two degrees warmer than today. As I said, we've set the thermostat at more like four degrees of warming, and the warming won't stop until we pull most of that carbon back out of the sky. But at this stage, we're still adding carbon, and faster than we've ever done before. The warming won't stop anytime soon. At four. The governments of the world have known about this for a third of a century. <clears throat> but their priority has always been to put economics and development ahead of the environment. Even after the Kyoto Protocol was agreed, our emission rates worldwide have grown by a further 50%. Even after the Paris Agreement, they've continued to grow year by year. So you can see why I'm worried. Maybe some people think that warming the planet a little won't be a problem for them. What we do know is that the weather will be less predictable. Storms will be more severe, floods will be deeper, bushfires will be more common, more severe, more widespread. We know that sea levels will rise, that's a surety, forcing migration of countless millions of people and the inundation of all our coastal cities. I hate to guess what the world could be like in 50 or 100 years time. Did you know that the massive Sahara used to be an oasis full of life up to 4,000 years ago? Imagine if the climate change that happened then was repeated say in India or China where billions of people currently rely on the monsoon rains to grow their food. Imagine the boat people we would get then. With recent unprecedented fires in the Amazon, in the Arctic and other parts of the world, adding further to our ever-growing emissions. This is a crisis. This is an emergency. It's time we acted.